So excuse the mess. We're down here in the uh, the new little archery area. I call it of the house, and I've still got some stuff I got to put up, but it's good. So as you see today in the mail, I got my new Ultra View the hinge. The reason why I went with it is I have been shooting a knock on knock to it, and I had some issues with it. I had the hook break. And um, I sent it back off to Carter, but in the meantime, I want to learn to shoot this. The price point on it was really, really, really good for what it is, and uh, I'm super impressed so far. And I did order one of the, um, I'm not really sure what you call that, but it doesn't come with it. You actually have to buy it. A lot of people did shoot it like this, but I wanted to go ahead and buy one of these little thumb pegs right here just for some added security. And I know that there's hundreds of unbox, well not hundreds, but there's a few unboxing videos of these. But I'm not a pro by any means. One day I'd hope to be. So this is pretty much like your average shooter that is just, I wanna pick up a hinge and I'm gonna learn how to shoot it. I've watched tons of videos. My brother shoots a hinge. I've shot his hinge a few times. He has a Scott Ascent. I like it. It's got a little bit longer travel than I like. It does come with an Allen wrench to set your, you know, your hot and cold. So if you were looking at ordering the large one, this is what it looked like in your hands if you have pretty much bigger hands. And I did get the one with the click. So here's a click release. Let's try this thing out with my little makeshift shot trainer. Comes with a cool little sticker. You have to put that on something. Oh, I'm stoked. And I'm super impressed with the quality. Look at the packaging. I mean, that's like, and it's magnetic. These guys really take pride in their, in their stuff. And, and right now, I have to say I'm I'm very impressed. So let's check to say out. I'm very sorry for the mess again and uh, the echo. How to get some acoustic panels or something in here? This is where I'm gonna film some of my unboxing videos. So this is my little shot trainer that I made, and that's why it's good to practice. So this right here is actually a grip off of a PSC Evo, one of my knock-on Evos, and I actually took an old. Um, longbow string little recurve and just kind of fashioned me up a little shot trainer okay so you're at full draw keep that thumb right there so Seemed to me like the travel on the click was just a little bit long, but I'm pretty sure you can adjust that. That'd be your hot and your cold. But that break is something else. Gracious, that is, that is nice. So don't critique me too bad because, like I said, this is my first hinge that I've ever owned of any kind, you know, hinge release. And this is the large one. So... Listen for that click. We might have to go out there and shoot it on the blank bale just a little bit. It's about, whew, about whew, probably in the 40s out here today. Real cold for a uh, spring day. I guess it's spring still. Or not yet. Make sure I'm anchoring in the same. It feels good in my hands. Um, I keep my release right there right in these joints. I noticed one thing with my brother Scott Ascent, it was just, it felt like it was a little too small for my hands. They felt really cramped and I couldn't articulate the release like I'd like. So that was the main, that was one of the main selling points of this. And the angle of this right here, it's not wanting to throw the release out of your hand. And you've got pressure on it. So I'm holding a pretty good bit of pressure with the string. Wait a minute. 
So there's the click. Pull through. I just gotta remember to keep pulling on that uh, on that shot. We might have to go out there and sling this thing in a bale. Hopefully we won't lose any hairs. I'm gonna try it. Anyway, I have nothing to lose but some airs. Let's do it. All right, so we just got outside. I am gonna adjust the release just a slight bit hotter. It's in micro adjustments, so I moved it just a little bit, just slightly. Hopefully that'll give me enough. Hopefully I'll be able to set it off here. Like I said, this is my very first hinge. And um, just on the shot turn, it felt just a little, a little stiff. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it. We're clicked in. Bring the bow to full draw. travel before I actually set the shot off but I could be shooting this thing wrong this is where the practice is going to come into play and I'm so sorry for the wind this is terrible So I noticed that I am grouping to the left with this. I was shooting my, um, <clears throat> I did have to recite my bow in to shoot with my hand release and it was shooting good groups with it because I broke, or not my hand release, but my wrist strap release. I'm gonna set this thing just a little bit hotter. Reason for that, like I said that my, uh, my other one broke, my other release, my knock to it, so I had to, I had to get something else quick. But it is sent back to the factory. Still no clip. So maybe I'm tightening it. Maybe not. Gotta make sure I'm adjusting this thing right. go read the instructions and <laughs> make sure that I'm setting this thing right. It's kind of like a little set screw right there. Okay. Okay, so I am shooting a group with it. It's not as tight of a group that I would like, but like I said, I'm learning this release and I really need to check my, my, um, it's actually grouping pretty good. I'm actually gonna make a sight adjustment. Hopefully I'm not, uh, doing this too wrong. Oh yeah. Okay, once you get the rhythm down, it seems like it's not, it's not really that too hard to shoot. I mean, this thing's a dream, you know, I mean, it's a great release. Oh, 
I'm also fat in the wind. But um, you can see I'm stacking them in there. For the most part. I'm gonna practice it a little bit more and see how we can do. I hate laying my bowl on the ground, but I don't have anywhere to put it right now. So, uh, so far I'm pretty impressed. Like, really impressed. I played with it for a little while and uh, uh, looked at the instructions on how to adjust it. I've got it set just a little bit hotter. It's pretty neat that's for sure I'm pretty impressed the ease of drawability with it is just something else I've been putting in some pretty decent groups with it of course I'm up close I'm out here shooting a, a 70 70 pound knock on Evo that arrow was right on the top of the other one. I noticed that my sight, for some reason, is just a little bit different. Maybe I'm anchoring different, or maybe I'm pulling the release different. But um, it sure does feel good. It feels right, actually. I'm also like fighting a, a really strong wind out here. This wind is absolutely atrocious. We're absolutely laying the air is in there. Try to get them off one another just a little bit. I'm having to Okay. That felt good. Interesting. A couple of weeks, I'll be deadly with this thing. So, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Like I said, I'm first time ever shooting a hinge. So, I'm going to sit out here and practice this afternoon. And uh, try to get good at it. And I'll also, um, at the end of the video here, I'll, I'll put in the knock to it release. I'll show you what broke on it. And, yeah, melt it off the carter. So, you guys have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll... I'll be having a good bit of videos on this thing, trying to learn it. So thank you all. Have a good day. God bless. Shipping it back to Carter today. They're going to fix it 100% for free. So that's good.